The Royal Purple Adaptive MX Invitational to me is just a, a great opportunity to be able to come out and, and not only get together with a bunch of guys that that are similar to myself and to a lot of the other adaptive riders, but a, an opportunity to be able to get out here and inspire and motivate other individuals that have either a disability or a handicap or an adaptive um, challenge, whether they were born that way or whether they've lost a limb or something along the way, but just to allow them to be able to motivate and inspire them and let them know that you know life isn't over and we can do whatever we need to do to get back on a dirt bike, a bicycle, or whatever their hobby may be. Jim Wozni, I'm a left above knee amputee. Basically, I have an electric shifter, um, being I can't move my ankle, and then I also have a stirrup type design to go along with the leg that I wear with a pot shot. Chris Ridgway from Apple Valley, California. I am a left leg below knee amputee. Um, I don't really need much. I can shift the bike with my uh, prosthetic. My name is Doug Henry and I'm a T12 paraplegic. Electric shifter, a special uh, cage uh, for crashing, a special seat with suspension in it, a recluse clutch, a hand rear brake. My name is Eric Brummagen and I am a blown knee amputee, left hand side. You know, I, I mainly ride in third gear. Um, I have the recluse clutch. Uh, it helps me from stalling coming in and out of corners. My name is Mike Schultz. I'm uh, above knee amputee on the left side. We've got two push buttons on the, up on the handlebars, uh, and that controls the shift lever. The Moto Knee and VersaFoot that I actually developed specifically to get back on the dirt bike. Steve Howe. I was born without my right hand. I have a left-handed throttle, and um, other than that, just put wristband on with a glove and shove the hand in between the front brake and the, the grip and go after it. I'm Tyler Fry. I got paralyzed from the chest down from T5 vertebrae. I got the seat here for a little backrest so I don't slide backwards, and then a, a waist strap. There's my elbow between the clutch lever and grip. I have a loose clutch, which I can use the clutch lever or I can ride without the clutch. This is Drake's belt, and uh, he's the uh, current upper limb extremity game champion. Moto One, oh man, it was it was good. I I, I line up way on the outside since uh, it's a left hand corner, and I struggle with those being inside tight lines. So I right off the gate, I chose to be outside and just plan on railing the berm around the outside. Um, went great, and uh, on the second lap, Ridgeway ended up getting getting by me on the inside on a different corner. I'm like, man, I got to step up my game. So on the next lap around, he was in the lead. And I, I took the outside and railed it, and they've got this 100 plus foot table to table double. Gotta hit it in third gear, just tap as fast as possibly can. And I'm just like, I'm not gonna hit it, I'm not gonna hit it. But the gate drops, helmet, you know, the gate drops, and uh, I just wanna do whatever it takes to win. And, and uh, yeah, banging bars with uh, some of the best adaptive riders out here is just so much fun.